So I keep seeing this recipe for Korean marinated eggs all over my Instagram. I've literally seen like three or four different reels in a row. So I decided that I'm gonna try making it tonight so that I can have it tomorrow morning. All right, let's go marinate some eggs. Good morning everyone, today I'm going to be filming a day in the life video. It'll be more so a mix of a study routine and a little bit of a what I eat in a day. So without any further ado, let's start with some breakfast. <music> just like two or three yeah i just have the korean marinated egg that i made last night some kimchi and rice my house is kind of a mess right now because we're moving soon so that's why there's like plastic bags in the background make some coffee now. I'm just gonna have some instant coffee because I don't have a coffee machine. So instant coffee gets the job done as well too. All right, so now that I'm back in my room, I'm so excited because I get to share with you guys my brand new desk. Huge shout out to FlexiSpot for sending me this lovely desk. I'm really happy because I was able to customize the desk the way that I wanted it. So I was able to choose the color and the size of the desktop as well as the color of the frame. The specific model of the desk that I have is the EWH. The desktop is 47.3 by 23.7 inches and it is the wooden desktop in maple. The desk also has a lot of really cool features. So it has a drawer right here and I love how the design makes it flush with the desk itself. It looks very clean and minimal and the desk actually comes with several USB plugs so you can plug in a USB-C or regular USB cord. The desk ranges from 28.3 to 47.6 inches in height. Because the height of the desk has a pretty wide range, you can also save up to four different height presets on the desk itself. Personally, I think that the FlexiSpot standing desk would be such a good choice if you are a student who studies for long hours at a desk like me or if you work from home. So if you're looking to shop for a brand new standing desk, don't forget to check out FlexiSpot and check out the link in the description box below. All right, so first things first, recipes, uncle food. First things first, I'm going to review my comp sci class, specifically the course where I'm learning Java right now. Even since last semester, I've had my coding courses in the morning. So I've kind of been conditioned to learn all the theory and all the basics of different coding languages in the mornings. So I'm going to review for my comp sci midterm right now by going over the basic Java concepts. I'm gonna use 
my surface tablet. I did get a couple comments asking why I have a surface tablet as opposed to like an iPad because I do have a MacBook and I have an iPhone and everything. I actually got this surface tablet like in 2018. So this was like my very first piece of technology that I had with me when I started university. So I mean, this thing still works pretty well. Uh, I mainly just use it for notes. So I don't really think it's necessary for me to buy an iPad when this thing does the job equally as well. I mean, it works at the bare minimum, but nonetheless it works so yeah so here is my little setup right now i also just want to say this is my number one absolute favorite youtube channel to study with i love the study with me videos here they're so aesthetic and so nice so that is what i'm gonna be studying with today i'm gonna split the screen real quick so yeah, there we go So I'm gonna make a quick and easy lunch right now. I'm going to make a spam donburi bowl. I don't know if this is the authentic recipe. I highly doubt it. I just saw it again on an Instagram reel. So I'm going to try it out. Alright, so here is my lovely lunch for today. Very quick, easy, simple. I think it only took me like under 10 minutes to make. It doesn't really look super pretty, but I'm sure it tastes good. It's still a little early for dinner, so I'm gonna eat this croissant. I'm just gonna toast it. I toasted the croissant and it kind of got burnt, but that's okay. I just spent the last two hours doing linear algebra. I was working on my assignment because I actually have three assignments due this weekend. So I wanted to get a lot of my linear algebra assignment done early so that I can have some time later on to work on my other assignments. I didn't work on my assignment the whole time. Obviously I took some breaks and it's actually 6 p.m. right now. So I'm gonna go get some dinner. All 
Alright, so I just finished eating dinner. My mom just steamed some shumai, which is just Chinese dumplings. I ate it with a little bit of kimchi and some rice, so it was a very quick, simple, easy dinner. I also heated up some oolong tea. I'm going to drink this while I do my last little round of studying. Ideally, I would love to study for every single one of my classes every day, so all four of my classes, but normally what ends up happening is I only end up studying for three out of four classes. And you know what? I would beat myself up about it because I feel like I'm not productive if I don't study for all four of my classes, but at the same time, quality over quantity, so I should be happy that I only studied for three out of the four classes. <laughs> so I feel like we always want to do so much, but we always have so little time. I'm gonna do a little bit of discrete math right now. So I'm gonna do that and then I have to do some coding for my Java class because we also have an assignment due on Friday. That class is just... We have a midterm, we have an assignment, I don't know. I am, it, it's a lot. 